Anchor Church, welcome to this week's edition of Going Deeper. How, hope you had an amazing Labor Day. Uh, we just heard a message from Danny uh, that goes along with our Church Planning 101 series, talking about some uh, aspects of Titus that are super meaningful. If you haven't watched that message yet, you can go find that on our YouTube page as well. Uh, but this is an opportunity to uh, present some questions to you for you to dig deeper with this content. Uh, we think that it's valuable for you to just consider these questions on your own, but we think that the value heightens when you have a conversation with somebody else, that this is all the content you need uh, to even host your own group in your house, that you can watch this video. I'm gonna present some questions in just a moment. You can hear a question, push pause, discuss it, listen to the next question. Uh, but would you take some time this week to, to take these questions, personalize them, and hopefully even dialogue them with someone else and let this content that we just heard go deeper into, into your heart and your soul. So Danny talked about living above reproach and how this is a consistent theme, uh, specifically in Titus, but elsewhere in scripture as well. So I just wanna start with this question. What does ab above reproach mean to you in our life, in your world, in your context? What does it mean to live above reproach? Uh, a follow-up question to that is what areas in your life um, may not cross the line of sinful, but they're not above reproach. What are areas that is difficult for you and difficult for me individually, where maybe it's not crossing a line of sin, but it's not living to the standard of above reproach that maybe God would be calling me to. Then the next step, if you wanna be even more vulnerable here, is uh, Danny talked about confessing and how when we confess, we take on Jesus' righteousness. So would you take a moment and consider these areas in your life and have a conversation specifically with Jesus saying, hey, I'm gonna exchange my sin or my lack of reproach and exchange that for your righteousness, that our righteousness is only found in our confession and repentance and Jesus' righteousness comes upon us. The next series of questions is that uh, Danny talked about in all respects, living consistent with the faith that we profess in, in, in all respects, in all surroundings, in all circumstances. So here's a couple questions for you. What respects or what surroundings is it easier for you to be consistently walking out the faith that you profess? What areas in your life, what circumstances, what people make it easier for you to align with the faith that you profess? Follow-up question to that is what respects or what surroundings, relationships, circumstances, is it more difficult for you to be consistently living out the faith that you profess? Again, this is so valuable to talk this through with your family or some of your friends and, and dialogue this together. The next set of questions is, uh, Danny talked about being ready, being ready to do good works. Now being ready requires getting ready, that to be ready for a race, to be ready for work, to be ready for, for going out, uh, that there is a getting ready that's required for being ready. So here's the question. If we have a desire to follow along with what we've been talking about of, of letting our faith produce good works, being ready to do the good works, what can you do to get ready in order to be ready? Essentially, how do you schedule out, structure time? resources, finances? How do you prepare for those difficult moments how you would like to respond better, more godly, more righteous, more Christ-like? Prepare ahead of time that when those moments come, you have already gotten yourself ready so that you are able to live out the life that God has called you to. Final questions here. We've talked about how uh, to live out the good works. It always starts with the gospel. It always goes back to grace. So here's the question, as we've talked about some areas to, to grow in. What areas of grace or mercy have you experienced that you can focus on right now that will lead to good works moving forward? What areas of mercy and grace have you experienced? Rehearse those, discuss those with each other, and that is what fuels and motivates us to live out the life God has called us to live. Love you, Anchor Church. I hope you uh, have an incredible week. We'll be back together next Sunday. You're amazing. I love you.